Last June, I had the pleasure to visit the studio of Diane Jodes and Robert Hall. Together we took the train Line 3, departing from Luxembourg City to Vassabilly Frontier, and got off at the Old Tranche train station, where actually the studio of the two artists is in nowadays located. The station was put into service in 1861 by the Compagnie de Chemin de Fer de l'Est, and belongs to the Luxembourg National Railway Company, CFN. It is in this unique space that Diane and Robert have been creating for a decade. Their studio is in collaboration with the painter Jeannette Bremont, where on her own initiative, she founded in 2008 the Semaphore Art Studios. With the air of a historic yet functional on a daily basis public space, the artists are inspired by the few peak moments of the station. One of the studio's second floor windows overlooks the Eutrange station and another looks out onto the vastness of the railway tracks leading to Germany. Placing themselves in the environment of the observer and in the tranquility of their workspace, the two artists create their works. They have been a visual duo in the country for many years. Uh, I'm Diane Jodes. I'm a Luxembourgish painter and printmaker and yeah, artist since, since the 80s. I've, I've worked in different medium. Uh, when I'm here, here, which is Semaphore Art Studios, I focus on painting and drawing and making objects. Semaphore Art Studios is a shared space and uh, of art for artists and I share the upstairs space with my husband Robert Hall who's also a painter, printmaker. And so when I'm working here I focus on painting uh, either in with I paint with oil or acrylics, it depends. I'm, I'm very much interested in um, a series of work, so I won't make just one painting because uh, of one thing, but it has to fit within uh, uh, an idea, a concept of um, works. So um, my interests lie in life, the small things that, that make life, themes of um, family, nature. Uh, right now I'm working on a series of heirloom, if you want to, objects from my family that um, that I have kept and that spark different memories or maybe they're a little bit nostalgic, I don't know. Everybody can look at them and find something else in them. Uh, in the past I've done series on animals uh, with special uh, abilities or swimmers, but also, also in the context of of life and what these images spark in people when they look at them. I've been part of Semaphore Art Studios since uh, 2011 and Robert, I believe he, he joined um, two or three years later when the other studio space was um, got free. So it's kind of nice, although we work very differently very different in our uh, approach and to come here together and even though we sometimes close our door you know we have we have our very um, individual bubbles if you want to <laughs> call it that way but it's it's nice to have your partner with you too because you know the boundaries when you have somebody who's a, a stranger you you don't always know the boundaries, uh, be it just uh, in a pra pragmatic way. Where can I leave stuff lying around or um, can I take over some temporarily some of the space or some of the material that my husband has or 
you know, so it's, it's kind of a, a practical but very um, easy way. My name is Robert Hall. I've been in Luxembourg since 1987. I'm a, a dual national, American and Luxembourgish. I met Dion shortly after arriving in Luxembourg uh, and began taking a drawing class in Limpertsburg at the Atelier Gibraltar. We've been together for over 33 years. Uh, I taught art. I taught all different subject areas at the International School of Luxembourg. It's important for me to have a, uh, a tactile sense when I'm using paint or, of course, a pencil. It's quite easy to arrive at that. I use different kinds of tools. I use paint brushes, of course, but I also use um, scrapers or spatula and uh, other kind of scraping tools. So I'm building up, taking off the materials uh, back and forth and kind of having my own uh, interaction dialogue, if you will, with what I'm working on. It's important for me to feel the resistance of the material. So if it's a pencil, it's, I'm using my fingertips and my hand, of course, and my, maybe my arm. Uh, the same thing with painting. I need to have a, um, I feel like I need to have a resistant uh, surface to, to work with or against. Um, the tools I use are varied from brushes to scrapers and uh, edges of um, saws. I find different ways to uh, make marks in the drawing situation and then I am very often in a dialogue with the painting itself and the drawing of course where I'm removing, taking away, rebuilding so it's a kind of you get to see the history of the making of the piece. The aspects that concern me about painting are about have to do with materials, uh, the format, all those compositional elements like probably any other artist, visual artist um, but I think I've been um, much more contemplative since uh, retiring especially and also particularly since uh, the pandemic when I had lots of quiet time. Um, luckily I didn't have any difficulty with the COVID itself but uh, it kind of forced me into um, a period of deeper reflection than I normally try to achieve. and. Uh, and then following that, I would say the war in Ukraine has really occupied me in a, uh, in a difficult way over the last half a year or so and continues to kind of preoccupy me. Uh, and then on top of that, <laughs> we have the climate change issue. So there's lots of dread and anxiety that I think uh, a lot of the world is feeling, uh, unfortunately, very unfortunately. Um, and so I'm actually struggling a bit to try to find some ways to, to contend with that and to um, interact with uh, art materials uh, to make sense of it. And so there are these external factors that are influencing what I, what I paint and how I paint and then the internal factors of how I'm feeling. And so my goal is really to, I think, overall to create uh, sensation or to provoke, evoke kind of some sort of um, sensation in uh, the viewer. I've been sharing the studio with Dion for about nine years. She's been here a couple years longer than I've been here and uh, it's really quite pleasant. We work in very different ways and we cover a different aim for different um, endpoints, if you will, and subject matter. Um, but it's nice because I think we can support each other. We can, um, if, if we need something from, from one another in terms of an idea or about um, a color or something else, or sometimes we share materials.